Hey y'all, I am back with another video and today will be kind of like a college talk type of thing. I will be talking about the classes that I've taken this past semester and maybe a few that I'm taking this upcoming spring. A little bit about my experience with college for the first semester and my first time and what I've learned and a few pointers, a little tips and tricks. And I'm also doing a little mini giveaway at 300 subscribers and I need about 70 more to get to that point. So if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe and join the team and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already but without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so y'all i'm gonna start out with the classes that i've taken this past semester so beginning with monday wednesdays and fridays i started out those days with my english class at nine o'clock and lasted until 9 50 and then i continued on with my math class an hour later at 11 o'clock to 11 50. i kind of had a little extra time maybe to get something to eat maybe go back to my dorm and take a nap but i really didn't do that because i just didn't want to wake up late and be late for my math class which was pretty important for me so a lot of times i would just get something to eat or do whatever I wanted to do. A lot of times I would go to Chick-fil-A or the dining hall and it has a place at the UA called the Ferguson Center and it has like Chick-fil-A, Wendy's and a lot of different food places to eat at and Chick-fil-A was a popular spot for me so I would a lot of times get breakfast and just go ahead and eat, head on to my next class and continue on with my day. So in English my professor taught me a lot of writing skills, a lot of pointers that I need when writing essays, talking to people, having a more professional mind. He taught me how to incorporate like words, different vocabulary words and things that I should take out of my writing and for me believe it or not the writing back in high school that I learned was a lot of things that I needed to take out to make a good grade in his classroom now keep in mind different professors want different you really just kind of have to experience it for yourself and learn what you need to do and what you shouldn't do what your teacher wants what they don't want what can help you make a good grade and all that good stuff so in English that's basically what I learned and like I said that was Monday Wednesdays and Fridays so I would get up around 7 45 8 o'clock take a shower maybe eat before class if I don't want to eat after do what I had to do chill whatever so I headed on to class and after that class I attended my math class which was called by the way English was one-on-one my math was 100. It was based off my ACT score, so I could have taken 100 or 110. But since I didn't really do well on the ACT like I could have done, just because I never took a college course at all before, so I wanted to not go to the lowest level of math, but the lowest level that they recommended me for. Because even though I didn't do my best on the ACT, I really kind of just did the easiest that I could do and I didn't really challenge myself so that's why I wound up taking the math 100 even though I could have taken 110. So in that class every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays three days a week we met in a computer lab. My teacher he would walk around if we had any questions we could raise our hand. We had student teachers that would help us with any questions like if we struggle with the problem I had a question about the course a lot of times they could answer it and a lot of times at the beginning of the class period we would give an announcement that would just tell us reminders like this assignment is do this day remember you have such and such do this week and all of that so that was pretty helpful he was very nice he helped me when I needed to be helped and this class was online like I said so we didn't really meet in like a specific class so will a teacher will be at the board writing down problems and stuff so for me I took a math online class back in 11th grade in high school so this was kind of a repetitive thing to kind of learn online and I knew after learning that this math class was online that it wouldn't be a challenge for me and you can always email your teacher or set up an appointment to go and talk to them if you have any questions or any problems something that you're worried about and they will always be there to help and I always will receive emails throughout the semester about tutoring for this math class and even I think all the math classes held tutoring on certain days so if you had a problem don't think that you're just stupid or there's no help out there there's always help so you really have to take advantage of your resources that's what my math consisted of on Tuesdays I started the day out at 11 o'clock and I had a criminal justice class our tests were based on lectures only really nothing out the textbook although a lot of people they started coming like on test day which I really didn't understand I guess they either got notes from somebody else or really read deep into the textbook she has really extra work a lot of times when he really just taught us the answers and he would just sort through all the notes from that week or those few weeks and make up the test our grade it consisted of four tests and we didn't have any busy work or any extra assignments so if you didn't do good on those tests then your grade was probably gonna be real bad I came out with a B plus I could have did better 
So the first test, I made a B, the second I made a C, the third I made a B, and the last I made a low A. Average it out, that came out to be a B plus, and I could have did better like I said, but if you really didn't come to class and you didn't have any friends in the class or you didn't get the textbook, then you were gonna be completely lost because a lot of times he would have a few confusing questions on there, but he also included keywords to kind of help you figure out the answer. And some questions were really obvious, like he would have multiple choice and some of the choices would be like completely out the way so you'll know that it would be none of those. The one that was actually from the notes. So after that criminal justice class, I took a BCE class, that Crimson Edge based course, and this was because of my ACT score. I made, back in high school, I made a 17 once and an 18 twice. So after that second time making that 18, I said, forget it. I'm just gonna go with this and see what happened. The UA accepts students, I think starting at a 21 on the ACT. Since I was under that bracket point, they admitted me into a course called BCE. And they basically help you throughout the semester. If you have any questions, they give you tips and tricks on time management, studying, what to do if you need help, having more confidence within yourself. Really it's kind of like a support system. And my teacher was very nice. And along with that Crimson Edge team, I got an advisor that was very nice and I could meet with her about anything. She accepted walk-in appointments at times. She would say, make sure you have a really nice advisor. I'm pretty sure you could change if you didn't like your advisor or if they didn't meet your needs, but I'm not for sure about that. You would really just have to check on whatever college you go to and just see about that. On Thursday mornings, I took a computer science course, which started at 8 o'clock every Thursday. And I was so annoying waking up that early, so I'm really glad that I didn't have any other 8 o'clock. It was just once a week. It was test day. Now, through all the week, we didn't meet at all. Everything was on. Online, all our lessons and homework and all of that stuff was online and even when we actually got to the computer lab our tests were online so that was another online course although our teacher was in the room we could raise our hand if we had any questions before the test or after the test so I would go in and take my test and then I would have to raise my hand and the teacher would, or another student teacher would come over and write down my grade and that was it I could ask them a question they would more than likely know the answer I really found my breaks between those days and what times I could go eat or be late for another class so so that consisted of all my courses that I took that semester. I also want to say if you're in high school, then to please do your best and do good on the ACT. Not necessarily just because so you won't take that Crimson Edge course if you go to the UA, but just in general. You want to be able to be at the highest level to accept scholarships. So ACT scores will help how much money you pay for college. That will help if you have a high ACT score. So if you know what college you want to go to or what you're thinking about, do that research and see what that college is requiring of you and please try to meet those needs. I didn't do that like I said so I had to replace the course that I may have wanted to take with that stupid Crimson Edge course so I had to take that and I really I liked it but it was just really annoying so just do what you have to do to be successful that's all I'm saying. So that consists I also learned that it's not many courses consist of busy work so a lot of the time you will have maybe two between two and five tests each semester you really have to stay on top of your work because you may not have little assignments to keep your grade up or anything like that they really have to stay on top and i really want to stress focusing and time management and organization those are my main three points with being successful your first semester of college you want to have a planner or your phone anything to where you can write down your homework what you have to do that day maybe a time where you can do your laundry you can go to the gym lunch with your friends you can just really chill maybe you can watch a movie in between those times you really want to make sure you find out what you can do and what you can't do and with that it's all a learning process so if this semester you don't find that out you still have next semester but you really want to try your best and focus on what you need to do to be successful and I keep saying that because it's so important I want up coming out with my English class I had a, a B minus and my math class I had an A minus and my criminal justice class I had a B plus computer science I had a strictly an A no A plus or A minus just an A crimson edge course I had an A plus so that made my GPA at 3.5 so I think I'm on the road of making the dean's list although they which I'm actually done with that role of making the dean's list but they just haven't announced the list yet so I know I should be on this so I'm excited and happy about that pray throughout the semester if I had any problems I would pray if everything was going good I would pray and seeing my results with praying and having faith it really strengthened my relationship with God and my relationship with faith and know that if you're going through anything just give God a call read your Bible just 
keep your relationship and your faith with God very strong because there's nothing bad that can come from that. You know you're always going to do good and have a good mindset and just be successful with that. So I want to say just always pray good or bad about anything. I realized that I slept a lot through the semester. A lot of times I was sneaking naps when I probably shouldn't have and also when I could and it wouldn't hurt me. So you also want to find out when you can do that. Like I said, find out when your breaks are, when you can do this, when you can't do that. So take naps as often as possible not as when you want to but as possible because sometimes you will be really sleepy writing this paper or doing turning in this assignment at certain times because there are deadlines back in high school a lot of times you just have to come to class and turn it in and if you don't come to class that day then you'll just turn in the next day it's really not like that a lot of times in college it really depends on your professor but with me let's say I had an assignment to turn in or a paper to turn in at one o'clock that day in class and online then if I had to turn it in online but if if I wasn't there to turn it in in person then I would get points counted off so you really have to be really strict know what you can do and know what you can't do once again I really came into this semester with the focus mind knowing that what I do and the work that I put in it comes out of it it's how much success comes from what I do to get to that point so yeah, y'all, that consisted of all my tips and tricks that I wanted to give you guys on how to succeed in college and the do's and don'ts. Please go ahead and subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and comment down below if you have any questions or concerns or comments, all of that good stuff. So give me some love because I love you guys. Next time, bye.